Hey, walk away. How are you? My name is John, uh, Jonathan Bowen. I live in Stoughton, Massachusetts. I am uh, born and bred uh, Bostonian, grew up in East Boston. Um, so as you would imagine, uh, my family is a family of uh, lifelong Democrats, and um, and uh, that's just what I thought. I thought I was a Democrat since the day I was born. Uh, my mom loves JFK. Uh, my dad's not too political. He did serve in Vietnam, uh, but he's not too political. Um, and I didn't think I was very political either until I started... Uh, uh, until I picked up the uh, the Wall album by uh, Pink Floyd when I was in high school, and um, uh, you know, after you listen to that album for a few hundred times, it starts to seep into your brain. Uh, for any Pink Floyd fans out there, you know the worms they enter your brain. You know, so um, so so uh, Pink Floyd is definitely. Uh, seeped into my brain, and um, it's my favorite band of all time. Um, you know, shortly after picking up uh, Pink Floyd, I started getting into Rush. I mean, I get, you know, the progressive rock bands. Um, and, you know, you guys might be thinking, like, you know, this, why is this guy talking about music? You know, these days we have um, musical acts who say the same thing again and again and again um, within their lyrics. But back then, uh, Animals by Pink Floyd. I mean, that album is fantastic. It's one of the best political album, uh, albums of all time. Um, and then there's uh, Grace Under Pressure by uh, Rush, which is uh, sort of a dystopian album. Uh, George Orwell, um, 1984. And that's where I feel like we are these days. I feel like we're in a, a weird space, a space that I have never, th I had never thought that I'd, I'd see. You know, I was a Cold War kid, born in 1973, uh, probably older than the normal person here. Um, so I remember that it was the uh, the Americans against the Russians, and um, you know we were the good guys, and now. I don't know that we're the good guys. By the way, I'm a veteran myself. Uh, I served with the uh, Navy CBs, and then later I served with the uh, Army Corps of Engineers. <clears throat> um, just to give you a little bit more of my background. So anyway, I love Pink Floyd and I love Rush, and uh, Neil Peart, who did most of the uh, most of the lyrics for Rush. I mean, the guy was a true libertarian. Um, he cares about all people, doesn't, they, he doesn't care, he didn't care, he passed away this year, earlier this year, he didn't care anything about, um, sex or race or anything like that. Um, Roger Waters, uh, is a different story, Roger Waters is a pain in the ass, um, I still love him, um, I do believe he's the reason that, uh, Pink Floyd, uh, dissolved, <laughs> But, you know, if you watch him, you you know, he just, he's right a lot, and he's wrong a lot, uh, but um, he will also, uh, he'll tell you what his opinions are. Um, so music is what got me into politics. And then, you know, I remember as a kid, you know, Ross Perot, I voted for Ross Perot twice, um, and uh, later... Uh, Voted for Gary Johnson twice. Um, along the way, I made some mistakes. I voted for Hillary Clinton in the 2008 uh, Democratic primary. I voted for John McCain in the 2012 uh, general election. Uh, I don't think those were good votes. I think I also voted for John Kerry in 2004, was it? When he was running against... Um, George Bush, George W. Bush. At that point, I didn't think that George W. Bush was a good president. Um, I didn't like the idea of us invading other countries. Um, so, um, so, you know, libertarianism is something that I found uh, probably prior to the 2012 
election, Ron Paul really opened my eyes. Um, uh, and um, he's fantastic. He's him and I don't agree on everything, but we agree on ninety percent of the stuff. Ninety uh, percent of um, uh, political opinions. So, when did I walk away? I mean, yeah, I walked away from the Democrats. I did vote uh, vote for Tulsi Gabbard. I love her. Um, I'm not going to vote for any Democrats this fall. Um, I'll vote for Libertarian and Republican candidates. Um, I will vote for Joe Jorgensen, so I'm a walk with. Although, um, I do not want to see Joe Biden become president uh, of the United States. And after watching that debate the other night with uh, Mike Pence, that's my daughter, one of my daughters upstairs. Um, after watching Mike Pence and um, Kamala, Kamala, Harris, Kamala Harris the other night, I mean, she's just woefully unprepared. So, um, so I'm a walk with... Um, but I, I, I just, I can't see, I can't see, um, I cannot see Joe Biden as president. Um, and I hope that, uh, I mean, I know that Joe Jorgensen, I'm going to be voting for Joe Jorgensen, and I know that she's not going to win. And you're probably going to say in the comments, you're wasting your vote, blah, 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 blah. I don't consider it a wasted vote. <clears throat> because it's what I want to do and I have principles and ethics and morals. Um, so I, I can sleep at night. Um, but, um, I hope that Trump wins. He's not going to win Massachusetts here anyway. Um, but, um, that's about it. I love watching your videos. Um, there are some people who I would, who I watch these videos and I would never imagine them being, um, Republicans turning Republican, and I think it's fantastic. So, I'm that um, I'm that white, straight, male, college-educated. You know, I am the pariah, <laughs> and nobody wants to listen to the pariah. But I just thought I would put my um, thoughts out there. I think these videos are fantastic from all the different people from all walks of life. Okay, thank you so much. I, I hope you uh, enjoyed my video, and I know that I ramble. All right, bye-bye.